Hey everybody, I'm Clifford Stummy, the pop song professor, and welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by talking about song lyrics. Today we're talking about how Taylor Swift writes her song lyrics, and why are we talking about this? Well, it's because she just released her album, Lover, and my hope is that after you guys listen to that album, more of you are gonna be like, you know what? I kinda wanna try my hand at writing some songs, writing some lyrics too. And Taylor Swift apparently, is in agreement because in the the lover lounge live stream however you say it she was asked you know what do you have advice wise for young musicians and she said try writing your own songs try being a songwriter she said it was a really good experience for her, not only because it's enjoyable sure but also because it was it was healing and cathartic in a way for her to really work through some things and all of those reasons are basically the most important reasons to try writing song lyrics. And so what we're gonna talk about in this video is a few tips that we can garner from what she said or what she does about how to write song lyrics. We're gonna have some beginner tips and we're gonna have some more advanced ones coming up. For number one, check out this clip. For me, creating music is the most personal process. Um, I'm not thinking about all those people singing the words to the music. I'm not thinking about it if it'll get played on the radio. When I'm writing a song, all I'm thinking about is the person that I'm writing it about and what they're gonna think when they hear it. Um, and to me, that's just always been my process. It's like, I just keep it very one-on-one, -on -one, very personal between me and whatever muse has come into my life and inspired it. So she tries to not think about what others will think about what she writes. She tries to keep it personal and real. She gets vulnerable and honest in what she's talking about and makes it something that only she personally could have sung or written. Personal and real, guys. Aim for those. Number two, she suggests that you make it sound like a journal entry. Uh, she says in, a, in an interview, the more it seems like a journal entry, the better. The more it seems like an open letter, the better. The more true and honest and real it gets, the better. When you're naming the places you went and the time it happened and all the things about a relationship. For example, on the Lover album, she talks about, you know, meeting with her boyfriend at Cornelia Street in New York City, which is very specific and is her doing exactly what she talks about here. Or the song London Boy where she describes like tons of the, the different adventures or outings she went on with her boyfriend in London and explored like very specific locations. And why do we do that? Because the more specific and honest you are in your lyrics, the more real it sounds and the more people will feel like they're connecting with you and the more you're gonna be able to feel like you connect with your own music instead of it just being something vague and generic that anybody could have written. The number three tip for being a songwriter like Taylor Swift is to be as detailed as possible. Listen to this, she says, so if you can in your songwriting, be as detailed as possible because for people to relate to it, they may not have the same details in their relationships that you have in yours, but they can relate in that they had these little details of the relationships. The more honesty, the better. The more details, the better. The more direct, the better. Now, a lot of pop songwriters and people who write songs by committee and things like that, their songs tend to be very vague and very general, and there's no one specific person we could trace it back to. So they might have a lot of cliches in there, I love you like the ocean, or you're a mountain of dependability to me, which would honestly be a pretty bad lyric. But when Taylor Swift writes her stuff, we have songs like Cornelia Street, where it's an actual place she went to. Or we have a song like London Boy, where she's describing outings that she personally had, and she's going into those details about where they went. Or the song 22, where she wrote about things that she actually did when she was 22, or consider all of the relationships that she's gotten very detailed about and writing about in her song lyrics, particularly on Lover, where like the whole album's basically about being a lover to Joe Alwyn, except for a couple songs, which if you wanna hear about more, I released an album review discussion type thing a couple days ago on my channel. It's around here somewhere, you should go watch that too if you wanna know every single thing about the lyrics in this album. Tip number four is to share your songs with a circle of friends. And this is something that Taylor often does, not only with friends, but also with family, especially her mom. So before she records a song, she'll go and show her lyrics and her music to people and get their honest feedback because she can trust them and what they think and for them to be honest with her so that she doesn't, you know, put out something that's kind of crappy and th so that she doesn't self-doubt something that's actually really good. Find somebody that you can trust to give honest feedback on your music, preferably somebody who's part of your target audience, the people who you want to write your music to. All right, so those are four tips that 
Taylor Swift has said that she would actually apply herself and does. The next three are gonna be ones that I've observed from her in analyzing her songwriting patterns, all right? Now this is gonna get pretty crazy, so let's, let's, let's just go. So number five is conceptual organization, where basically she has like a pattern that she sticks to or creates, and then it seems like she fills in the lyrics around it. Consider these lines from Red. Losing him was blue like I'd never known. Missing him was dark gray all alone. Forgetting him was like trying to know somebody you never met, but loving him was red, loving him was red. Notice not only that there's a lot of colors mentioned here, but at the beginning of almost every line is an ing word or a gerund. Actually, that might be gerund. I, I don't actually remember, this is embarrassing. Losing, missing, forgetting, loving. Each of those words tells their own little story, but she bases the stanza around them. Or like in Endgame where she sings, I wanna be your Endgame, I wanna be your first string, I wanna be your A-team, I wanna be your Endgame. Each line starts off the same way, but it ends differently. See how in both those examples, there's like this very clear cut pattern that enables her to give the structure, organization, and predictability to each stanza? That's what helps to make it easy to memorize and easy to understand and connect to for her audience. And she does this a lot in her songwriting where it almost seems like she starts with a pattern and then comes up with lyrics to fit into it. Number six is that if you wanna write lyrics like Taylor Swift, you've gotta tell stories. And we are never ever getting back together is a particularly good one. I remember when we broke up the first time saying this is it, I've had enough, cause like we hadn't seen each other in a month. When you said you needed space, then you come around again and say, baby, I miss you and I swear I'm gonna change, trust me. Not only are we going back to the diary and the being specific and being detailed when we tell a story, but it's something that humans connect to. Like, we really like stories. That's why when we're having conversations with friends, listen to what people are talking about, and most of the time they're just trading stories about things that have happened to them. Life is a story, the things that we do are a story, we think in terms of stories with beginnings, middles, and ends, and so you gotta write songs that include stories. Sometimes, you know, you just have like this abstract concept, like I wanna sing a song about love, but if you can show love in a story instead of just telling about love, you're gonna be that much further ahead. And finally, tip number seven, one of the things that Taylor Swift does all the time and is so incredibly good at are song-wide metaphors, where an entire song develops one metaphor, explains it, applies it to a real life situation, and gives you a sense of understanding that you wouldn't have even if she had just given the exact specific details because a metaphor gives you the opportunity to put emotion and color and life and imagery into a real life situation that you know we might not have understood as well. Through a metaphor, we can see how Taylor Swift thinks about something. New Year's Day will probably be my favorite song-wide metaphor of hers. She sings, don't read the last page, but I stay when you're lost and I'm scared and you're turning away. I want your midnights the fun party times, but I'll be cleaning up bottles with you on New Year's Day. And the whole song is about just cleaning up after a party and how somebody is so great that you would be willing to just do the hard, sucky job of cleaning up with them, even if it doesn't mean that you're out partying and having fun. So look what just happened. I explained what the metaphor meant, but what was more powerful, listening to her describe it in a metaphor in the song or listening to me explain it? You probably understand it better now, not that you couldn't have figured it out on your own, but it probably made you feel something when you listened to the metaphor itself. And if you have a metaphor for a song, it can be a whole lot easier to create a concept and then to tell a story around it while getting specific and detailed out of real life personal events that you can then share with friends and family to see if it's any good. See what I did there? It all, it all kind of came together at the end. Those are my tips for writing lyrics like Taylor Swift. If you guys wanna get better at writing lyrics yourselves, I've got a 30 day lyric writing prompt challenge that I have linked down in the description. It's very inexpensive and it is gonna help you become a confident writer and destroy writer's block. There's a lot of fun prompts, there's a lot of serious prompts, but all of them are designed to help build specific songwriting skills that are gonna make you awesome. Not that you're already awesome, of course. So go check that out. And if that's not really your thing, you can check out this video explaining Lover by Taylor Swift or this one explaining The Archer, both of which are just case studies in good songwriting. So check those out. Check out the link down below. Become a better songwriter. Keep learning and I'll talk to you guys soon.